everybody, it is Julia. Welcome back to my channel. I have a very exciting video for you today, one that I am personally very, very attached to. I am doing my TBR for a readathon that starts today. So I already had some videos that were scheduled to go up that I really didn't want to mess with. So I know that this is starting the actual day that the readathon begins. I'm sorry if you want to join. I'm sure you still can. There's plenty of time. I'm going to put this up in the morning so that you can still get to the library if you want to. But the readathon that I'm going to be taking part in this week is called the Borrowathon. The Borrowathon is from November 7th to the 14th, and I believe that that is just hashtag Borrowathon on Twitter. And I'll link their Twitter handle down below. I think they might be using the same hashtag on YouTube. I'm not sure, but I'm going to use it in the title of this anyway so they can find me. I am so excited about this. So I do not think, at least from what I can find, that there are any rules or regulations for this readathon other than it's a borrowathon, so you have to borrow the books. I got all of mine from the local library. I am a huge supporter of the library system. I all think that we should be utilizing it. I've had my library card from a very young age. I have four books in the library that I am choosing to read and then I also have my Nook here. And if you did not know, there is an app that you can put on any of your mobile devices called Overdrive where you can link up to your library card and download ebooks and audiobooks directly to your mobile devices from the library. So you, I mean, they've made it so easy. If you don't want to go to the library and take out physical books, you can just get them all digitally. You do have to have a library card, though. So Monday and Tuesday, the first two days of the readathon, the kids are off of school. So I'm not going to have as much time to read during the day when they're usually at school. So I didn't want to get huge books and then not be able to read them. The first book that I have is More Happy Than Not. I haven't physically downloaded it because once I physically download it, the timer starts and I don't want to start it just yet. But this is by Adam Silvera, which I have heard a lot about. I believe it is a tale, I believe it centers around depression and mental health. I'm not 100% sure. Please don't quote me on that. You guys know how I roll with these. I rarely know enough about the books. It's bad. I know. The next book that I got was The Young Elites by Marie Lu. And I know that she has another series, like a trilogy, prodigy, legend, champion. I haven't read any of anything by her yet. But I picked this one up because it was a little bit smaller and I thought it might work better for the readathon. And this one, I believe, is about kids. Some kind of illness strikes, and then afterwards, kids are physically changed and then have magical abilities or powers, and the world kind of evolves from there. So I like going into these kinds of things not knowing too, too much, but I have heard good things about this, so I am excited to get into this series. It was so hard for me, guys, with my TBR to go and pick other books and not just go get books that were already on my TBR. But then I felt like that was cheating because it's a book I physically have and I didn't want to do that. So these are all books that I do not physically have that I really wanted to read. So that was the first book. The next one is Everything Beautiful in the World by Lisa Nevchuk. Sorry guys, they're like stickers in the middle, they're glary. This I picked solely up from the shelf because it was tiny and then I read the synopsis of it and it seems kind of scandalous so I felt like maybe I would be interested in it. This is about a girl who's mother has cancer and I think she's just kind of struggling with life in general but she starts an affair with one of her teachers. I think she's 17 and I'm pretty sure she starts a romantic sexy time love affair with her ceramics teacher. So I don't really know where this one's gonna go but I figured I would check it out. The next one is also a small one but one that I'm very very excited about. This is Stardust by Neil Gaiman and I have not read any Neil Gaiman books but I have heard his name all over the booktube and I'm really excited to be reading my first Neil Gaiman. This one especially because it is about Faye. This is about a child who I think in England and he goes to a glen or something with the girl that he's in love with and he makes a vow or an eternal promise to her and then somehow is transported or the wall between the Fae world and his world kind of collapses. I don't know. But I know that there's Fae in it and I know that it's about love and apparently Neil Gaiman's writing is just described as magical and lyrical and beautiful and I'm really really excited to be reading my first Neil Gaiman. And again this is like a smaller one. It's not that long. I think it's like 250 pages. So it's a little guy but I'm really really excited for this one. And then I got I Was Here. This is by Gail Foreman, the author of If I Stay and Where She Went. So I read both of those and 
I didn't love them, I didn't hate them, but I figured I would give this one a try. This one is another like dark and twisted one. This one is about two best friends and I believe one of them is away at college. <laughs> and literally the synopsis says, when her best friend Meg drinks a bottle of industrial strength cleanser alone in a motel room, Cody is understandably shocked and devastated. So her friend kills herself by drinking a gallon of cleanser and she has to go to her college dorm room and clean it out and apparently she finds like an encrypted drive there that she somehow decodes. She meets a guy while she's there. So I don't know if there's romance but she kind of delves into this suicide, learns a little bit more about her best friend, realizes she might not have known her as well as she thought she did. This is another one that's not that long, but it seemed like it would be enough to keep me really interested. So I went for books that I thought were going to be engaging and weren't that big because again, I know I'm losing two days right off the bat because of the kids being home. That was my TBR. So More Happy Than Not by Adam Silvera. Um, I Was Here by Gail Foreman, The Young Elites by Marie Lu. This is Everything Beautiful in the World by, oh geez, Lisa Levchuk. Levchuk? Yeah. Yep. And then Stardust by Neil Gaiman. So that is five books, but I think that they're smaller. I'm probably going to start with the physical copies that I have and then move on to the digital one. I might see if any of these are available on audiobook because then at least I can kind of double up and read or participate in the car as well because that is being borrowed from my library so I count that. <laughs> my audiobooks are always borrowed from my library. I do not belong to Audible or any of the other book borrowing um, audio sites. I only borrow the audiobooks from my library because free. Go check out your local library guys and borrow some books. You do not need to spend a ton of money and buy a ton of books to be a booktuber or to be an avid reader and I've been very very guilty of wanting to expand my bookshelves and over buying books but I really am going to start doing more library TBRs and including more library books because there's just no reason not to. So I'm excited about this readathon. I'm excited to check back in with you guys later and let you know how I did. So it is time for me to get reading. If you liked this video, give me a big old thumbs up. Feel free to join me on Twitter with the hashtag borrowathon if you want to encourage me or join in yourself. And I will see all of you in my next video. Mm -hmm.